Do you love working with healing crystals or have you been curious to learn more about how to work with crystals and what their benefits are? If so, this video is for you. I am a crystal junkie and I have so much in store to share about crystals how I work with crystals, how I got into working with crystals, what I love them for, aside from like everything and much more. So first, let me take you back a little bit back in maybe, I don't know, 2012 or 2013, I started getting into crystals because I had a friend who was a psychic medium and I had all these crazy experiences in dreams. And she suggested that I work with a certain crystal to support with grounding in dream time and protection in dream time. And that sparked my curiosity to learn more about crystals and other ways that they could support me. I was living in New York City at the time, and there were a lot of really cool crystal shops in the city. And so I found one that I really loved, and they had all these different benefits listed next to the crystals. So many things from building self-confidence to working on your communication to attracting abundance to healing your heart and so much more, literally everything you could think of. So my curiosity was already piqued, and I was excited to explore more about crystals and start using them. So I started collecting different stones for different things. And I started tuning into their energy by holding them, carrying them around with me. Sometimes I would put them in my bra and I mostly use them for abundance and for opening my communication and building self-confidence at that time. Initially, I let my intuition guide me. So sometimes I would meditate with a different crystal with an intention in mind as I held the crystal. Other times I would place them on different parts of my body. Sometimes I would sleep with certain crystals under my pillow, do different types of rituals with crystals for different types of things. And eventually I decided I wanted to create a way to wear these crystals. So I got into wire wrapping because I am an artist first and foremost, and I love being creative. So I started making crystal wire wraps and I would wear them on my neck or on a keychain and People started asking me how I made these crystal pendants and if I could make them one. And crystals actually brought me so much more abundance and creativity because then I started getting into sculpting pendants. And I'll show you a couple of my crystal pendants very soon. But I started sculpting pendants. And next thing you know, it started to really take off. My crystal pendants started to take off and actually supported me with growing my coaching business as well. People started to know me as the crystal chick. I created a crystal guide a while back to share different benefits of different stones. If I still have it, I will link it in this video. I may or may not still have that. It was really good, really simple. I ended up making like $30,000 from my pendants in the first year that I went like full force with them. And I started getting a lot of, a lot more eyes on my brand and the things that I was doing literally because of crystals. So crystals to me bring a lot of good luck and a lot of magic. I'm actually wearing one of my crystal pendants that I'll show you here. This is amethyst, labradorite, and quartz. And over the years, I've definitely have found my own personal style with my pendants. And here's another one. I'll see if we can get a good view. We got Labradorite, Amethyst, and Quartz. So beautiful, so beautiful. And here's another one that I recently made for um, one of my girlfriends with a little rose. Let's see. How cute. So those are some of my pendants. And what I do with my crystals when I wear them is I charge them. I set intentions with them. I do light language over them. I infuse healing vibes, abundance vibes in the crystals, which is something that you can do with any of your crystals, whether you wear them or not, whether you have them on your altar or around your home, you can cleanse and you can charge them with intention by speaking to them, by 
putting your hand over them and sending them love. You can clear them in a bunch of different ways as well. I personally love to use sound to clear my crystals. I either use uh, tuning forks that I have that are very high frequency tuning forks or a singing bowl with um, 432 hertz. That is my personal preference of how I love to cleanse my crystals. I also have a lot of selenite around, which is really good for cleansing your other crystals. But there are other ways that you can cleanse crystals, whether in the moonlight, um, you could do it through with sage or Palo Santo. But like I said, my personal preference is sound. And I also love to infuse light language, light codes into my crystals as well. And you can use your crystals in a multitude of ways. Like I mentioned, you can meditate with them. I used to wear them in my bra when I taught fitness classes back in the day to help me with confidence and public speaking. Carnelian is really good for that. Um, I love to use them when I'm doing plant medicine journeys and just put them around the space and so many other ways, so many things that you could do with crystals. I believe that the most powerful thing you can do is Use your own intuition when you're working with crystals, when you're connecting with crystals and set your intention. Now, for the most part, I just love to wear them. I love to rock my pendants. I love to decorate my home with different stones and I place them in very intentional spaces of the house and they really just bring beautiful, nurturing, loving energy to my space. Another one of my favorite things to use crystals for is protecting my energy. So there are some stones and crystals that are really good for absorbing negative energy or just the energy of other people so that you don't pick it up. So if you feel like you are, or if you know that you are an empath and you're very sensitive to other people's energy, some stones like um, smoky quartz or black tourmaline are very good for absorbing energy. In fact, sometimes I get extra sensitive to energy when I am doing something like plant medicine. And I love to have a black tourmaline around me just so that I'm not absorbing anyone else's energy and I'm staying in my own energy. So if you're really sensitive to energy, any most of the darker stones like smoky quartz or the black the stones, like, like I said, black tourmaline or black onyx are really good for protecting your energy or absorbing dense energy. So if you want to learn more about crystals, let me know in the comments below what questions you have. If I have my crystal guide, I will also post it for you below and I'll leave a link for you to check out my amazing crystal power pendants. All of these are so intentionally made, actually channeled and infused with beautiful high vibrational light codes and energy to support you with anchoring into your fullest power and potential. I would love to hear from you below. Also, what is your favorite crystal? I know, I know this is a hard question for some people to answer, but I would love to hear what's yours. Tell me in the comments below. I feel like mine, even though I love like all of them is I would have to say Labradorite is one of my favorites and Selenite. Labradorite and Selenite are my favorites, even though I love so many of them, but yeah, I would say those are my top two. All right. I hope this was helpful for you. Super short and to the point. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video.